Hello and welcome to Change is Good. My name is Brian. In this video, we'll be hunting another $500 box of half dollars. Man, it's just been too long. We'll be looking for silver, proofs, foreign coins, NIFCs, varieties, anything worth more than face value. Let's do a live opening. Moment of truth. Don't see anything silvery that I can tell right off the bat. Nope. All right. Nothing obvious on top. Let's get into the rolls. We're on the sixth roll and I got something to show under the scope. Here we have the reverse of a 1971 Philadelphia. This is very minor, but if you look behind the FG initials, you're going to see a little spike sticking up right here. It's a raised area. It's Probably just a die gouge because I looked at the obverse and there's nothing really narrow enough and sharp enough to match this. So it's probably just a little gouge in the die. I thought it was kind of cool. All right, let's get back to the hunt. We're on roll number nine and we have a variety. Let's go to the scope. Here we have a 1972 Denver. The lettering here in the words and God is extra thick. And there are splits here at the bottom serif of the G here and in the top serif right up here. The date is also a bit thicker than normal. Over here in the word trust, there are splits here in the bottom of the first T on both sides, at the bottom of both legs in the R, and at the top of the U on both sides. This is DDO number one on Variety Vista, or WDDO number one on Wexlersdouble.com. It's a good find. Let's get back to the hunt. We're on roll number 30, and we have a variety. Let's go to the scope. Here we have a 1971 Denver. This is a very, very worn out die, but you can still see some of the details. The upper right serif of the eye over here has a deep split in it right here. The left serifs of the eye are also squared, widened, with little splits down the center at the top and the bottom. The date is also a bit thicker than normal. So is lettering over here in the words we trust. You can see it's a bit distorted. Though you can see a little bit of a notch right here at the bottom serif of the S and the right serif of the T right here as well as at the bottom of the T right here. The T in Liberty has a widened, flattened serif over here on the left. This is the FS-102 in the Cherry Picker's Guide, or DDO number 6 on Variety Vista. It's a worn out die, but you can still see what it is. Let's get back to the hunt. We're on roll number 32. We have another variety. Let's go to the scope. Here we have a 1971 Denver. Look at the mint mark. See that extra D peeking out from behind the other D here on the left? This is RPM number one on Variety Vista. Not a scarce variety, but a pretty cool one to find. Let's get back to the hunt. We're on roll number 36. We have our first NIFC. A 2007 Denver, minage of 2.4 million. All right, let's get back to it. We're on the last roll. We're gonna end it off with a variety. To the scope we go. Here we have another 1971 Denver FS-102. The letter I here is that big split on the upper right, squared serifs on the left, top and bottom, with a split right here at the bottom, you can see. Triple split down here on the lower right of the I, extra thickness of the lettering, extra thickness in the date. Thick lettering over here in the word trust, with a defined notch right here on the right side of the T here, and the bottom of the S. And the T in Liberty has that Flattened, squared serif on the left right here. It's not a bad way to end the box. Let's do a recap of the hunt. Well, it wasn't the best box, but it wasn't the worst box. In total, we had six finds on the board. One NIFC at 2007 Denver. We got four varieties. Two 1971D FS-102s. 1971D RPM number one. And 1971D DDO number one. As well as a 1971 Philadelphia with a die gouge on the reverse. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. It won't cost you a single half dollar and it will definitely give me a warm and fuzzy feeling inside. Now, if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back with you as soon as I can.
Thank you all again so much. And remember, every coin has a story. And some of those stories might even spike your interest. I'll see y'all next time.